Welcome everyone. This is um, the Edge in Chief webinar, and uh, this is the last webinar for the year. Uh, and um, we will uh, make a pause. We've been uh, in a number of meetings over the past uh, couple of months. So we'll make a pause between um, December and January and bring together a new series of webinar in February next year. But really welcome. And um, we just wanted to welcome also our guests. I'm going to provide you a very brief update on the next steps for the future of evidence synthesis. Uh, after we finish the, you know, the last uh, uh, workshop uh, this week. And, and then we'll have Judith Brody giving you a, very, a brief update on this Cochrane Center executive team reorganization restructure. And we'll have Chris Champion and Tracy Howe speaking about diversity and, in, and the inclusion, the initiative that, the, that is being led by members of the board and, uh, and the council. Uh, and then we will open for Q&A. And, uh, and, and as I said, you can either, you can uh, put your questions at any time on the chat. And then uh, after the, the, the presentations, if you wanted to speak, you just raise your hand and we will unmute you. So I don't have any slides. What I wanted to tell you is that, first of all, thank you very much. We had a very uh, intense time of engagement with the community, but this has been extremely fruitful. So we had um, above 1,600 visits at, in the website, futurecochrane.space, with over 190 people completing the, the survey. The survey will close at midnight today. So if, no, tomorrow, sorry, Friday. And if you still wanted to, to, make, uh, to uh, give your opinion, that's a way to do that. But we also had seven workshops and for each workshop, we had a number of, uh, of uh, breaking out, breakout groups, between six to eight breakout groups. And we had, on average, over 110 attended, people attending each one of the workshops, with uh, uh, around 160 to 200 people signing up uh, for each one of these workshops. We also held uh, a number of discussions with the council, and the council held a number of discussions with uh, the representatives of the community. All of these now will be taken into account, and we are putting together a document with uh, summarizing all the feedback we received. Uh, the challenge, as you, as you, uh, many of you have seen, we've separated the, the, the feedback on challenges, opportunities, and alternatives. So we had a number of, of uh, areas on which people really provided us with their feedback in terms of opportunity and challenge. We had less uh, response regarding potential alternative for what we've been proposing, but there are some, and, they, and many of them very important. So uh, this document and this summary will be made available in the, the future space website uh, in early December for all of you, but will also be the backbone of a paper that will go to the Govern Board in early in mid-January. So the board has asked us uh, to present a paper that also present potential options for, for the board to assess. And, and, the, and the, at the meeting of the board is on the 19th of January. And after this meeting, and they uh, will be communicating the what are the next steps. But one of the things I want to make sure, two things. One is to thank you all once again. Has been a fantastic way of, I mean, I know these are very challenging times for us. And I know that many of you have been facing other challenges and, uh, and it's, it's not taking for granted your, your engagement and participation. Uh, so I'm very grateful to that. And the second thing is that um, it's just one of the reflections, initial reflections from what we've heard. We heard the, the community saying, 
this is an important process, but we need to be flexible on the ways we present to avoid to lose uh, what we have of best. That is the network and the community, community of experts, of content experts, of methods experts. And we are taking these in very much into consideration. So um, if you still wanted to have uh, to, to send us any information, you can do that via the survey. As I said, it will be open until midnight of 5th of November. You can do that via the council, your council representatives. And you can also send a message to the email editingshift at cochrane.org uh, until the 10th of November. After that date, we're not going to be able to, to, to take things into account because we need to put these documents together. And as you can imagine, these are resource intense to analyze and, and, and they identify or, uh, you know, all the, the, the feedback. So we thought We've, um, uh, we'll be in contact with you. And as I said, we have canceled the meeting in December because we have been you know, in a number of meetings um, and we'll use it to prepare the, the papers and, and distribute it. But uh, we'll be back to you in the early December with the results of the feedback. And all of the feedback is also going to be, the, the raw material is also going to be available in the cochrane.org website. Thank you very much.